Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at how to fix proxies with flat color. All right, so I got a question and contacted uh, my buddy and engineer at Adobe to confirm this. And this was specifically for R3D files from RED cameras. Uh, those specific cameras shoot RED RAW, and they also save a file, uh, an RMD file that uh, sets what the preview, what, what the clip should actually look like. Let's have a look at these. This is These are four R3D files on the timeline. And in the effects controls on the left side, the source size, this is where all the source settings come in for an R3D file. And they're ginormous. They're very powerful. This is the one here. The image pipeline is legacy. And if you turn off these settings, this is typically what you would see when you're working with log. And red files automatically load an RMD that's set for the file. The problem with this file, these files, is their pipeline is legacy. And the new pipeline is IPP2. So if you're shooting in the new pipeline and creating proxies in Premiere Pro, it works perfectly. But if they're legacy files, you cannot change this. You must manually create these proxies. So let's generate these proxies. I'm going to break this and then fix it. So I'll select. Oh, I'll select these files in the project bin, right click, and create proxies. And I'll just leave it on the, the default setting here. And I'm sticking it in, in an auto-generated folder. Click OK. And it's going to launch Media Encoder in the background because uh, you don't do these with Premiere Pro. So Media Encoder is launched, and you can see the preview down here at the bottom is the RMD is not applied. So we get these flat color proxies that are not going to work in an editing environment. I'm going to speed this up so it uh, you don't have to sit through it, but these are not the right files. All right, so the proxies are created. If we go back to Premiere Pro and we're turning on and off our enabling and disabling proxies, and that is the issue. The issue is we've created proxies without applying the RMD. So let's get rid of those. I'll select the same clips and I'll detach them. So now that the proxies are not there. And what we need to do is make them manually. But before we do that, I'm going to delete the files that were automatically created. I'll select the clips and export them. And I'll forget about all of these settings and just down on the bottom right, send to media encoder. All right. So let's get rid of the ones we had before. And these are the new ones. I'm going to create a new preset down here. Just to show you one gotcha that you have to make sure. So instead of H.264, I'm going to go down to QuickTime. And I will make sure, first of all, I'm going to do 422LT ProRes, and I will make these smaller because right now it's These files are 4,800 pixels by 2,700 pixels. So this is a quarter size for the proxy. Now here's the gotcha. There is no audio with the original files. 
If I encode these proxies with audio, they won't work. Premiere Pro will get an error and when you try to attach them. So currently, and I know Adobe is trying to change this, but currently the proxies have to have the exact audio format. You might ask why that is a difficult thing. Well, if you have a track right now that's mono and you encode to something different than that, it, it, you would actually have to have a different track in, in them. So it's, it's just easier to, for Adobe to say, Hey, you better make these correctly. So I'm going to make them correctly. I'm going to turn off export audio and then I'm going to name this, um, R3D proxy. Click OK. Select all of these clips. QuickTime. Click there. Oh, oh, there it is at the top. OK. So there they are. I'm going to set the location for these in the manual folder. Click OK. Cross my fingers down to the bottom. Preview is yes. And you can see the, the RMD is now applied. This is just like exporting out a final timeline of a bunch of R3D files. The RMDs are going to be attached. So this is essentially the same thing, except I'm doing it with all the individual clips. I'll come back in a second because we have to rename these. And uh, I like to use bridge. It's pretty easy to, to do some batch renaming. But uh, let me speed this up and we'll rename these. All right, they're done. Let's go to bridge. I'll open up that folder, go to naming. And I need to I need to add proxy at the end of this. So I'll select them, go to tools, batch rename. And uh, I have current file name. And I'm adding text underscore proxy. So the original name is here. The new proxy name is the same name underscore proxy. All you have to do is have that as the, the proxy name. Even if these were created outside of Premiere Pro somewhere else, you can attach them very easily as long as you have the same name with proxy. So I'll click rename. There they are. Let's go back to Premiere Pro. Cross my fingers, select all of these, right click, attach proxies, go to attach. Add to favorites, manual, there they are. Click OK. And now my proxies are turned on and they work. Oh, looks like I, my format was off a bit. Oops, that's me. But now you can see turning the proxies on and off, I get the right RMD file and it works, no audio down there at the bottom. So there you go. There's uh, how to fix the, the legacy pipeline in RMD files. Um, you just have to do them manually. Obviously, you get your DIT or whoever to generate those files beforehand and then uh, reattach them in Premiere Pro. Um, my buddy wasn't sure if this works the same with other log files, whether that is the issue. So if it is an issue, then you still have to regenerate and relink, reattach proxies. Um, you cannot do, if it's not working automatically, then you have to do it manually. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and uh, subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. There's a bunch of free stuff to download. Be a member. There's even more to download. There's a spreadsheet of every single episode that's easier to search. And you can also contact me on there uh, like I, someone contacted me about this issue and I turned this into a tutorial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to listen to your questions. Uh, realize I don't know the answer and have to go all the way uh, to my buddies at Adobe so you can have the answers.